guys. It's Amber. Total giggle for you guys. I know I have makeup on. And my hair looked so much cuter a couple of hours ago. So as I told you, the Arizona Coyotes decided to invite us to the game. Compliments without my husband having to sing the anthem. Really cool gift. And we are so grateful to Dave and to the entire staff and team for that. We had a wonderful time. Sadly, a 20-year streak ended. Um, we have never, until tonight, in 20 years that we've had the, the Coyotes, we've never lost to Edmonton on our own ice. They got us by one tonight. But I will tell you, <laughs> it was a bloody game. It was good. Our guys did not go down without a fight. Um, four major fights on the ice tonight. Literally, they were scraping up blood. And I think I saw them grabbing up a tooth at one point. Um, and every one of those four fights was started by Edmonton. Figure it out. But it was a great game. And we had a wonderful time. Which I'm sure my sweetie will tell you. Kevin, where are you? Right there he is. Hello. <laughs> now you guys actually know what he looks like. I'm the ugly one. Oh, he's so full of shit. I'm going to pause you guys for a sec. Hey, I'm back. I'm tired. It's late. And the fun thing was, one of the fun things, you guys all know I love the rain because Phoenix really doesn't see a whole lot of it. And my hair was all curled and pretty. <laughs> It actually did take, and then when we walked out, it was raining, and I went, yeah, two for one. Lots of fights on the ice after a good hockey game, and I get nice and wet in the rain. Hey, did very, very well. We had a great time. We were sad to see our team lose their streak. We were, but we've also got guys out on injury. Our goalie, Smitty, had just come back from being on the injured list for the majority of our season. And let me tell you guys, he did a great job. He really did. For how many approaches he had, the fact that they got three goals through kind of, you know, he kept it down. He really did. And all of our players just kicked butt and took names and then had to kick butt because they were getting not just slammed against the ice. I mean, checked against, checked against glass. It's part of the game. They don't even pay attention to that. But at one point, we had a guy checked against the glass, and then another Canadian player came up and used a stick in the back of our player. I mean, that's just not okay. He, he came at him intentionally and did it and took him down. So it was pretty bad. They pulled the helmet off of one of our guys and were beating him bad. So... But I'll tell you what, he was back out on the ice after the penalty box time. So, you know, we've got some rough and tumble guys, and they get out there. And I know most of them are Canadians by birth and raising and upbringing. But you know what? They're still our Coyotes. They're here. They choose to live in Phoenix. I think they're crazy because it's hot as all get out. Um, but, you know, it's really good. It's fun. And if it weren't for that, I mean, the first 26 years of my life, I'd never seen a hockey game. I had no idea, actually longer than that, about 30 years. And, you know, I thought, oh, it's a cold weather sport. We'll never have it here. And we do. And it's it's a really big deal here because we have a lot of snowbirds. And then there's people like me that just think if somebody's going to get paid a ridiculous amount of money to do something they love, I want to see blood and teeth. I really do. At least blood. I'm kidding. I'm really kidding. Sort of. Um, I think that our hockey players, for what injuries are given, they don't make nearly enough money when you compare them to, you know, football and basketball and baseball players. It's ridiculous. Their careers last a lot longer than our hockey players do. And our hockey players get their butts kicked sideways. And sliced open. I mean, we've even known about a hockey player that had their throat sliced and bled to death because, you know, those blades are freaking sharp. And it was an accident. The guy skated over his throat. He didn't mean to. So, but I wanted to let you know, I put it on my Facebook. The girl that 
and I say girl because she was 16, that did the anthems. Um, she did an okay job. She, she hit the notes. Um, and I think she was terrified out of her mind. I felt so bad for her that way. Um, but she did. She put her best forward. And then she didn't even, her family didn't even stay to see the game because it's a school night here. <clears throat> um, we're not getting a long winter break for kids this year. So I don't know. I'm, my kids are grown. I'm completely out of that world. Um, if you're wondering, yes, this is me with my, my brown and bronze makeup on, which, okay, I'll give you one glimpse. See? Nothing exorbitant, nothing extravagant. Rather simple, three colors, and some brown eyeliner and black mascara. A little bit of bronzer on the cheeks. And I did have lipstick on way earlier in the day. If you look at my Facebook um, at the game, you'll see what I looked like. I've already brushed my hair out because it got nice and wet. and It's all soft and fluffy. I look like like Snowflake right now. I'm fluffy. Yeah. Because the rain always makes my hair fluff up. So we had a great time. And I hope all of you had a wonderful night. And I don't know if you'll ever see me in makeup again. But hey, at least once in your, your time viewing me, you got to. So have a good night, guys. Bye.